I know that Luffy is the main character of One Piece. And my problem is not with Monkey D. Luffy. My problem is with the way of writing of Oda. How do you have one of the Yonko's generals, the strongest, one of the strongest in her crew, fighting Luffy for 12 hours straight? And all he does is sends those biscuit warriors and for 12 hours straight Luffy eats them. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you serious Oda? A lot of people always always say One Piece is perfect, Oda is a genius, blah blah blah. In this chapter it showed one flaw of One Piece right there clearly because initially when this battle started I was so excited when I saw the moment that Cracker broke through Luffy's armament hockey I was like this is gonna be a tough challenge for Luffy what does Oda do he turns it into some comedy crap and say Oh, Luffy, he just keeps eating the Biscuit Warriors. He got super fat. He's just going to wait for Cracker to lose stamina. And then Cracker tells him, Oh, you're going to lose stamina as well. <sighs> this made me really mad because I wanted this to be a serious fight. And from what we're seeing, Cracker, as one of the generals in Big Mom's crew, is not that strong. He is strong, but Luffy could handle him from what I've been seeing thus far. And... That makes me kind of mad because yes, he did use Gear 4 to break the armor of Cracker and stuff, but it still makes me mad because I'm expecting the one of the Yonko's generals to be really powerful. Then we get a fight where the first um, two chapters, it was really cool, serious. And then the third chapter, it was like, oh no, Luffy's just eating the Biscuit Warriors. Like what? Like this is the new world. And from what we have seen in all of these chapters in the new world where Oda was hyping it up saying it's going to be dangerous. It's not going to be like um, the other world. Uh, I forgot the, what it is right now. Where it's just uh, sunshines and rainbows. It's crazy. Chaotic all the time. It's really dangerous. No. We go here and it's oh, some danger here and there. But not really. Then we go to an island. They fight the Flamingo, which he was dangerous. But not really. Luffy defeats him, blah, blah, blah. Then we go to this cake island where Luffy is freaking fighting a general of a Yonko's crew. I know it's not the Yonko themselves, but a general is supposed to be really powerful. And Luffy's just playing around e eating biscuit warriors. Uh, like, what? Like, for all you One Piece fanboys, there's fanboys that is like, no. Oh, you, you you don't see a bigger picture. Oh, this gonna do this, blah, 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 make the fight exciting. If this fight, I have a feeling this fight is gonna end in some stupid comedic uh, way or some scrappy way, which is really annoying. And I expected more. I expected more of the new world. I know we're still not halfway done with it at all. Like, of the new world content, we're probably like, say let's say 30% in, and we got 70% more to go. And yeah, that just made me really mad that Cracker is not that strong. Like what? Like I, I imagine being a general of Big Mom, uh, is like you will be like stronger than the Flamingo at least. Probably one of them is, but just seeing that Luffy playing around and fighting and stuff, it, it was just like oh my goodness. And Sword Stuff Mace was right, like. He said Cracker is not really a person, a combat based person that likes fighting close combat. He's like a distance fighter and yeah, that's what I wanted to rant about. Like, come on, it, this is not even a review of the chapter. This is just a rant about what the hell I, I saw, I read. Like, it was horrible.